everybody, and we are back with another rank match. And this one, I decided to go with the Trailblazers again. The last time y'all see me run, when I got my ass kicked by them. So I said, you know what, I'm going to pick them again to go up against the uh, Golden State Warriors, you know, a good three-point shooting team. And you know, three-pointers are going in at, at a high rate online this year. But we're going to get off into that. I mean, I'm just going to use this game as a backdrop of what we really want to talk about. And uh, we're really going to, you know, I, I said I'm going to put my expressions as far as online goes and let y'all know what my experiences has been and what I think about it uh, a couple days ago. But I at least wanted to have the game for a week. So the game in out for a week now, and I done got in enough games and played enough game modes to, you know, give my first impressions as far as online and, you know, what the devs as far as the work that they put into it or lack thereof. But, uh, you know, that's what this is going to be about. But uh, first off, when you talk about online, the main modes that people think about is my team, online ranked matches, and online leagues. But since, you know, my career and everything else is tied to BC, which is tied to the service, you might as well just call the whole game online now. Because if it's, if it's tied to BC in any type of way, then it's online. So you might as well just consider pretty much everybody online nation at this point. But uh, first off of my career, I really can't get off into it. And I'm really enjoying it because... I really can't play it. I can't play the game at all. It says uh, he's giving me a message right now telling me that my VC is not tied to the server and for me to check my connection like there's something going on on my end. But we all know it's something that's going on with 2K servers. I finally hit uh, LD2K and he got back at me and said that, you know, the devs are investigating. They're looking into it. So hopefully they can get that going sooner or later because this is the first time I'm really getting off into my career, you know, and I'm really getting off into it because of the face scan and the likeness of the guy that I'm playing with. I mean, I'm I'm playing with the guy and he's looking just like me, you know. I finally got a decent looking face scan in and for somebody to walk into the room that really don't know nothing about 2K, I'm like, damn, that looks just like you. And I'm like, yeah, I did that from the face scan. They couldn't believe it. Like, shit is crazy when you look at him and you playing with your own guy in the game and you seeing your own self talking in the game, it feels like you're really in the game. But I really can't experience it the way I want to because it's not working. It's not working at all. So hopefully they can get that to working. But, you know, we're going to talk about the other, the other, uh, online modes, which is you know online leagues and rank matches. I'm not really going to get off into my team because from what I see, my team is uh, working fairly well right now. The only thing they're really having troubles with is the auction house, and I'm really not really getting off into my team this year because I just haven't had any. Uh, I, I I really just. I really don't want to play it this year. I feel like it's a lot of other things that I can get off into. I really don't want to touch my team just yet. Later on, I know I will, but right now, I'm not really looking off into it. First off, online leagues. Number one, one of the most... I don't know. understand why this is not in the game mode itself, but you cannot kick or add players to your league. So if you know you want to get your league full and you want to put the word out about your league, you have to go on to LS Sports, you know, in their forums and you try to make a YouTube video about your league to try to get your name out there. But as far as you just going on Xbox Live or going on the PSN and inviting people, you know, you cannot do that. They will not give you the option to do that. Secondly, you can't kick people. So if it's a guy that's in your league and he's doing all types of dumb stuff that you don't like, and he's not following rules, you have to really politely ask him, like, uh, yeah, dude, it's not working out. Can you please leave the league? Because you don't have the options as an admin or a creator to kick the guy that you're not really, you know, you're not really seeing eye to eye with. So that's been taken out of the mode. I don't know why, but they need to put that back in. Secondly, you can adjust your lineups. Just like if I was running with the Trailblazers right here, and I have uh, Steve Blake, he's by default coming off of the bench. Just say if I was running the league and I just wanted to bring Steve Nash into the starting lineup because I wanted some firepower coming on my bench by putting Wesley Matthews coming off the bench, I cannot do that. Years past, you can do it. For some reason, this year, you cannot do that. So they need to put that back into the game. Third, you cannot customize a playbook. And what I really don't understand, which is so backwards, if you go into an online ranked match, which, which is really five minutes, a real quick match, you can go in and you can adjust your playbook. You can not only adjust your playbook, you can switch to the other guy's playbook that you're playing against. So if I could, if before this game, if I really wanted to, I could switch to the Warriors' playbook. But in online leagues, you cannot do that. And this is a five-minute, you know, a quarter game. And most online leagues, well, a lot of them, they play 12-minute quarters. They want that real realism. So 
for them not to be able to adjust the own, you know, adjust the playbooks, I feel like that's just a big letdown. And I'm in the league myself right now, and we play nine minute quarters, and I'm not able to go in and adjust my playbook, which is a big letdown. They need to put it back in the game, but it's not there right now. Uh, fourth, you cannot adjust your sliders. So if you're not liking the success of your rebounds, or if you think your threes are going in way too much in your league and you want to just tone it down a little bit, you can't go in the options and adjust those sliders and knock them down. You have to play with everything on default. Big let down. Uh, last, and I'm not, you know, talking about everything in online leagues. I'm just going off of what I know pretty much off the top of my head because I'm in one right now. You can't sign free agents. So you can't go into the market and get those couple players that's going to, you know, fill out your team. You know, you need a power for it. You need a point guard. You cannot go in and uh, you can't sign free agents. Don't know why it's not in there, but it's not. Online leagues has took a big back seat to... 2K. I don't know why. It's been like that like every year. They take out little by little every year. They do not add and they don't really try to build up on the league because that's what they said they was going to do in the years past. They say, you know what? In 2K14, yes, we, this is the first installment on Next Gen. So we're just building off this one so we know in 2K15 we can build off that and add more to it. We said, okay. We took the L on that, but we come back and it seemed like they just took more out of the game, which I don't understand. They need to put these basic essentials back into the game as far as online leagues and that's what i think about online leagues we're going to get off of that and now we're going to get off into what i play the most which is online rank matches first off presentation they took out too much in the presentation you know back in 2k 13 2k 14 when you first start off the game when you play in a rank match at least you see the players warming up you get to see Vince Carter you know pull up on the rim or you see Tim Duncan hold the ball and you know how he do the caress in the ball before he uh, go for the go for the jump ball or you see Kevin Garnett bang his head on the little thing on the back of the uh on the back of the, the basketball whatever that shit is that he bang his head on because Kevin Garnett just that crazy he's been doing that for years you don't see that no more in online rate matches and I mean it's little things like that that they need to put back into the game because I hate when I start up an online rank match in 2K15 and I just go straight to the jump ball. It don't feel like you in the game. Well, so it don't try to get you pumped for the game at all, you know. Even though a lot of people try to skip through it, but it's a lot of us, you know, we like to see that and we like to just see the warm-ups of the guys, and, you know, players giving each other pounds and hugs before they jump the ball off. That's not in the game anymore. They took that out. Uh, lastly, as far as presentation, they took out highlights after the game. I don't know why they took out player of the game highlights that's not in the game anymore. We do not have it. That just takes another part of you being in a real game after you won. I mean, if you win in these ranked matches online, which is kind of hard to do this year because you can't knock down shots. We're going to get off into that later. You want to see your player of the game, especially if you're doing YouTube videos. You want to see that good uh, highlight system that they have in this year's game because if you look at it and they do, you know, uh, you play my GM, which I really don't play, but I see the replay system and the highlight system and that. And if you hit a shot at the buzzer, the slow motion camera, the way they show it, that's not in online leagues. I don't know why, and it's not in uh, online rank matches. They need to put that back. Put player of the game highlights back into the game. And what's stopping it is, is once the game is through and they say here's a player of the game. It goes in and it calculates your BC, and that's what stops the highlights. 2K14, the highlights, I mean, the BC calculated at the end of the game once you go exit out into the menu. So they need to put that back. That's what's stopping the highlights right now is by them calculating the BC right after the game is over at the time of highlights. Uh, second, which is the main thing, shooting. Shooting is atrocious in this game. I don't know where my shot has went, but I cannot shoot whatsoever y'all are not going to see me run a lot of plays right now this year because i don't care how much of a sim game i try to play i cannot make wide open shots i mean i'm getting people i'm they have very good plays in this game the plays that they have in the game they are very effective but what's the use of running off all these screens and getting players wide open if you cannot knock down a wide open shot i mean it seems like the only way that you can knock down a wide open shot is if you hit green on that damn shot meter every single time other than that you might as well just chug it up you're just throwing the ball up and hoping that it goes in and when you miss it when you miss wide open shots it really piss you off because you're like damn i worked so hard to get this shot but for some reason I mean, it's not going in. So, 2K, please adjust 
the shot success for mid range in this game because it is terrible right now, man. It's some players I should be missing wide open shots with, but in online ranked matches and online leagues, I'm missing wide open shots. The shot meter, I just turn that off all together. That's you know, this is my experiences, y'all. If y'all knocking down mid range, then good for you. But for me, I'm not knocking down wide open shots. Shot meter, I turn it off because I don't know if it's a delay or what. But it's not working out for me as far as the shot meter. And, and I caught myself looking at the shot meter more than what I was looking at my player's release. So I feel like it was hurting me more than it was helping me. So uh, shot meter online, I feel like it don't work at all. But that's just me. It's a lot of missed layups in the game. A lot of missed dunks. Uh, C Nick 24 put up a video a couple of days ago where he missed a dunk at the buzzer, which he was wide open. And I don't see why. I mean, even a, a, a mid-level player can knock down one of those dunks, but he missed the, the dunk, and I guess he lost the game off of that, which is terrible, but they need to adjust that. Adjust the, you know, the, I, I understand that you can't make every layup, you can't make every dunk, but at the same time, if I'm open, I should be able to knock down those layups and dunks. I mean, these boys are in the NBA for a reason. These are not street ballers, so, I mean, you gotta have some type of skill to make it to the NBA, and I'm pretty sure they're not getting into the NBA by missing wide open layups and dunks. Uh, Second on defense, sliding, sliding is back into the game. I feel like I'm on skates when I'm trying to defend players on ball. I played a game against Stephen Curry a couple days ago, and like I said, I feel like I was on ice. I feel like I was in the damn hockey rink. I cannot stay in front of players for some reason. When I'm trying to guard a player and I'm trying to play on ball, trying to play sim ball, and I'm trying to do my best, they doing all these size up moves that y'all put in the game, which is cool. But they doing all this and zigzagging back and forth, and I mean it is so easy to lose your defender that way. And I mean players online they gonna take advantage of it. So do something about the sliding, put face, I mean feet planting into the game if you can patch it in, that'll be perfect. Zigzag cheese, y'all said it was out. Zigzag cheese is not out of the game. It feel like it's easier to do this year because if you're playing on ball, then the zigzag cheese is so damn effective that, I mean, if you do it a couple times, you're going to lose your man. You're going to have a wide open shot. So zigzag cheese, y'all said, was out of the game. It is still in there. Um, as far as the off ball, playing off ball, the indicator that y'all said that was um, on both games, I guess it's exclusive to the PS4 because we don't get that. I would like to see if a guy's playing off ball so I can take advantage, even though I do anyway, but I would like to see his name, the guy that he's uh, playing off ball with so I can really take advantage. Y'all said it was on both systems, but I mean, I know y'all give exclusivity, if, if that's even a word, to PS4. It's not on uh, Xbox One at all, so I would like to see that indicator saying that this guy's playing off ball and with and with which player he's playing off ball with. Uh, third, I mean I don't even know if it's third, but lastly, contested three point shots. It seemed like if you want to hit a three point shot in this game, the best thing to do is to contest it. Play the best defense that you can. If you're going to play defense for 23 seconds and you're going to put your hands up in somebody's face and they're going to knock down a three-pointer, that shit make you rage to the point where you just want to throw the game out the window. For some reason, contested threes go in way more than wide open three goes in in this game. They don't go in for me, though, because I've tried it, but they haven't gone in for me. And I try not to take contested three just to test it out. But uh, this year, a lot of contested threes are going up, and they are going in at a high rate. And not only are contested threes going in, the fading to the right and fading to the left three, those shots are back. You know that momentum when you putting your damn turbo in the headlock and you running down the court. And I understand if you have momentum, you are going to fade to the right or the left to get the shot off. But in this year's 2K, is back like it was in 2K12. When they fade to the right or the left, that shot is <clears throat> that shot is going in at a high rate now. So uh, 2K, y'all need to fix that. It's a lot that need to be passionate to this game. Uh, hopefully, you know, y'all pass this on. I'm not trying to ask for likes. As far as, you know, trying to get likes for the video, but just pass it on and share it. If you have a, a, your YouTube or if you have your uh, your Twitter connected to uh, to the servers or if you connect it any type of way and LD2K follow y'all or if you really into that, please share this video so we can get the, you know, the word out. I'm not trying to get likes on just for the sake of getting likes. I, we need likes so we can get this done and get this fixed. It's your boy Shout Dog. I'm signing out. Y'all have a good one.